Hey everyone, this is Lomi, and recently I got an email asking about making leggings or tights for dolls using socks. I was going to just send pictures, but since I was making something for an example anyway, I figured I'd go ahead and make a video about it. Sock stockings are a super easy and beginner-friendly project. Socks work great for quarter-scale BJDs and smaller. I'm making this for Lulu, my little fee, so I only need the upper cuff part of this sock. I'll be making her a pair of tights to layer under a dress I have in mind. I turn my sock inside out so I can pin and fit the material to my doll. I slip her right into it, positioning the tighter top cuff part at her waist to be the waistband. Then I squeeze the fabric together between her legs and put in a pin to mark the top of where the stocking legs will begin. My parents give me socks for Christmas every year, and when I tried to get the tags off this pair, the other sock tore, so I couldn't wear them. I kept this one to make something for one of my dolls. She's a little slimmer than the sock is wide, so I pull the fabric snug around her legs and slide in pins right next to them. This makes pant legs with the sock material that are exactly the right size. It's a little loose around the waist, but we'll fix that after we sew the legs. Some people dislike BJD clothing made from socks, but I personally think they can turn out really cute, especially if you use interesting colors or patterns. I slide the sock back off the doll and add a few more pins to hold everything neatly aligned, since this is a patterned material. If you're making something for a taller doll, you might need two socks, so you can cut down the cuff and include the top part of the foot as well. And if you cut a sock open lengthwise, it can be used just like any other knit fabric so you can use it with sewing patterns, too. Then I cut out that triangle shape I have pinned in. I must have bumped my tripod because my camera isn't as centered as I thought it was. Sorry about that. So now we've got the shape of pants. Since I'm making a pair of stockings that will cover her feet, I'll sew this close to cross the bottom of one leg, turn and go up the leg to the top of the triangle, then down the other leg and across the toes on the other side, all in one seam. While my stockings will cover her feet, you can also choose to just finish the bottom edges of the legs, and sew just the triangle part to itself, which would give you pants or leggings instead of stockings. I backstitch at the beginning and end of the seam to make sure it won't ravel when I put it on my doll. But if you want, this seam is all you have to do. Since socks are a knit fabric, they won't ravel. However, I like to have neat edges on the things I sew, so I finish the edge of the seam with a zigzag stitch anyway. That's an unnecessary step, but I like how it looks. Even if you don't have a sewing machine and are doing hand sewing, this is an easy project to complete which makes it perfect for people who are just getting started. I try to make sure I have projects for a variety of skill levels on my channel, so if you've wanted to start sewing things for your dolls and don't know how to start, this is a great option. I turn these right side out to make sure the seams are closed well, and they're already looking cute. They're almost done, too. The last thing I have to do is adjust the fit of the waist. I slide the stockings onto my doll to see where it needs to be taken in. You'll want to do this with the sock inside out on your doll, like we had it before, so that you only have to pin once. But the inside of this sock's material is really busy, and I felt like it was hard to see the pins. So I'll show you the fitting process with it turned the wrong way for sewing. It should be a bit more visible that way. Depending on what you want to do, you can take it in a little bit on either side of the doll's waist, which would mean a seam on either side. Or you can pull it snug in the back and just have one seam in the center back. You just pull the material tight and slide in the pins where you want the new seam. This is the same way a couple old women fitted me for my wedding dress, but I bet that was harder to take in than a sock. Here I've turned my sock wrong side out again, and you can see I've pinned the center back to be taken in. Just like the seams finishing the legs, I backstitch at the beginning and end of this. I 
I cut off the extra fabric and then finished the edge of the new seam with a zigzag stitch. Again, totally optional. But these stockings are now done and ready to wear, so I turn them right side out for the last time and try them on. This is a really fast and easy project, and I think these stockings turned out super cute. And once you layer these with other clothes, no one will ever know you made them from a sock. I plan to make Lulu a Harlequin themed dress in these colors to go with these stockings. And I think once it's all together, it'll be absolutely adorable. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.